Miss Stampin' Friends, I have in my hand here the brand new 2020-21 annual catalog from Stampin' Up! And today in my video, I'm going to show you how I organize my catalog when I get it. I'm going to show you the very first thing that I do and how I go through all the pages and keep track of all the things I have and my wish list of the things that I want. I also do the same thing for the mini catalog. This is the current one that's out right now and you can order from this catalog through June 2nd. So by now you should have received your new catalog in the mail. If you haven't, please contact me at charlene at stampinwithcharlene.com. If you've placed an online order from my online store during the past year, then I went in on my end and I had Stampin' Up! mail you one. If you haven't, you can place an order now and request a catalog and I'll make sure that you get one, but I don't know that you need one unless you let me know. So please email me at charlene at stampinwithcharlene.com or place an online order um, at my online store, which you can find on my website. So you're gonna need your new catalog and three other things. You're going to need um, a black pen or any other ink pen, a highlighter and a permanent marker. Okay, so let's get going. This is the brand new 2020-21 Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, because it is not live yet, I am not allowed to show you what is inside. So what I'm gonna do is show you how, I'm gonna use my uh, current catalog. This is an extra copy that I have. I'm gonna use this to show you how I organize the catalog as soon as it comes in the mail. The first thing I do is I take my permanent marker and you're gonna wanna write your name across the top. What I always do is I just write demo copy because I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is my copy. So instead of putting my name, that's what I always put. And you're gonna wanna let that dry a little bit. The next thing I do, like we learn in library class, in elementary school when you have a new book is just go through the center and just open up the pages down the seam like that. So it lays a little flatter when you're looking at it. It's just for convenience sake. Then I always like to read about what's happening in the Gardner family. Shelly Gardner is the founder, a co-founder, um, and her daughter Sarah is now the CEO. So I like to go through and look at their family pictures. There was a time when they all fit in one, but now they each have a separate picture for each member of their family. I love all the beautiful pictures, the way they have there, the colors of everything laid out. And like I said, this is the catalog that's available right now. So you already have this in your hands. Um, but then what I do is I take my highlighter and it's very easy. I just go through, let's see the beginning here. I just go through the pages and let's get to a stamp set that I have. Okay, I just go through and just take your highlighter and highlight in a bright, bright color, the items that you have. So I have that stamp set, then let's, oh, I have this one. I have this one here, Accented Blooms. Now here's another example of something that I do. I'm just gonna jump ahead and tell you this. Um, okay, so Accented Blooms, I have highlighted, but then since this is on the retired list, what I've done is, let me show you in my catalog that I have, um, that I'm currently using, I go through, and since it's retired, I go through when the retired list comes out, I take a bright permanent marker and I cross through the things that are retiring. So that I know not to order those because I won't be able to demonstrate with them. Plus, if one of you um, contacts me, it's just an easier way for me to just flip through the catalog and I can tell if it's something that's going to be here for a while or um, if it's something that is retiring. So I go through and I do that with all of my stamp sets and then I go, so pretend that I did that with all my stamp sets like you're gonna do. And then we're gonna get to, let's get over here to the accessories. Okay, um, 
all of the organization things are new. So I went ahead and um, I'm going to highlight the things that I have and also the quantity. So I actually have four of the Stampin' Blend storage trays. So I'm gonna highlight that, that I have four, but then I'm also gonna just take my pen and I'm going to write down that I have four right next to it, okay? And then if I add more, I'll just cross it off and I'll change the number. That's how I take care of that. Now, when it comes to the card stocks and the inks and the ink refills, etc., I actually have every one of them. So I'm not going to go through, hey, and you can too have every one of them. Become a demonstrator. Um, I, I don't take the time to go through and highlight all of these because it's obvious I know that I have all of them. Uh, the same thing with the in colors. Uh, with the designer series paper, sometimes I'll highlight it if I have it, but I pretty much know in off the top of my head which one I have. And if you followed me all this past year, you know that I definitely have the Magnolia Lane paper. It's my favorite. There's a lot of different projects with that on my blog. Um, so I, it depends on if I'm in the mood to highlight the paper. Also the basic things, I know I have the envelopes. Um, I know, uh, but for the glimmer paper, I don't have all the different colors of the glimmer paper. I know I have the gold and I know I have the rose. So I'll just go through and highlight the ones that I have. Uh, and you can do the same thing with all of the different accessories like this. When it comes to um, the ribbons, I do highlight those because I can never remember which ones I have and don't have. So just like everything else, I'll highlight them. And you'll know that like, for example, the metallic edge ribbon comes in two different colors. So you might just have one of the two. So just go and highlight the one that you have. And the same thing for all of the different embellishments. So I have a lot of these, um, the metallic pearls, I have a bunch of these. So I'm gonna highlight that one, and I think I have about four. So I know that I have a lot, but I know that I also need to keep track because I use a lot of them. So I need to keep track of that inventory. Now, in the catalog here where they put, um, on page 179 of the current catalog, this is where they have all of the Stampin' Blends listed. So as I purchased them, I just went through and you couldn't really see the highlighter on here, so I just went through and I just put a little check mark. Yes, I had the cherry cobbler, and then I circled it if I had the light, if I had the dark, um, and that would of course met, mean that I had the combo. Um, okay, so that's how you wanna do all of that. And then when it comes to all of these different tools that are in the back on page 180, I. Once again, I've had them for so long, the different tools, because these aren't really, uh, some of these are consumables, some of them aren't like the heat tool. I've had that for, you know, as long as I've been a demonstrator for 18 years. So um, I don't, you know, I have much, almost all of this stuff. So I don't feel the need, unless I'm bored, um, I don't feel the need to highlight that. And then when it comes to the clear blocks, I actually have a couple of, of most of them. So on here, like I know I have three of block A, so I can highlight them if I want to. Um, I know I have two of all of the other ones. I only have one of block F because it's really big and I don't use it that often. Um, so I like to keep track of the quantity of things that I have. And following. Okay, the punches, I definitely highlight the punches because those are hard for me to keep track of, especially if you look at the circles here. There's so many different sizes of circles that it's hard to keep track of which ones I have and which ones I need. I usually try to add a punch to every order um, so that I, you know, can collect all of them. So I know I have the half, I have the one inch, and I have the two and a quarter. So I'll just look through and I'll know that I need to add the other ones. And once again, the tools, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have them, you'll know. The dies are another thing that it's hard for me to remember if I have or not. So I'll go through and um, for Broadway lights, for example, I'll go through and highlight this 
And then I, you know, it's obvious that yes, I have the stamp set, but I'll also write stamps too, so that I know that I have the stamps too. And then finally for the embossing folders, it's another thing that I never remember if I have or not, and I have ordered multiple a couple of times because I didn't remember. So it's important to go through and highlight the embossing folders that you have. So, when, and then when the retired list comes out, just go through, put a mark for the things that you, that are retiring. Um, and then you could also, if you want to, just start a color coding system for yourself and maybe um, instead of keeping a written wish list, which you can do and you can attach to the inside or the, the back cover of the catalog, you can use a different color for the things on your wish list and then come up with a system of how to mark it off once you do purchase it. But this is a great way to keep track of the things that you have. Use your demonstrator, use your catalog, use it up, love it, so that at the end of the year, it looks like this. And keep your eye on your mailbox for this. And also, I just wanna say that I do the same thing in my mini catalog and my celebration catalog. That is a great way to keep track of the things that you have, the things that you want, but let's be honest, we need all of it. 